Hey guys, and welcome back to some more DN Do commentary. So, we have Omega Chaos here. Hi, I'm Omega Chaos here again. So, we have Ali075 here with 1081. Pretty interesting picture. And then we got a little not as good guy here. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that by 1485. So, it looks like he's using uh, Chaos Rulers. I mean, Light Storm Rulers. Light Storm Rulers yeah, and Alexix. Yep. <laughs> so, let's see if this Malefic guy will be able to kick that butt. Wow, another upstart. He he just gives up. He's like, you know what? You can go ahead and get into life force. I don't care because I'm about to summon a Malefic monster and rip it all out. So I don't give a fuck. Yep. <laughs> He's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Using that Malefic word. Not many Malefic players use it. Yeah. Well, because now there is a better fiat spell for them, of course. Yeah, Mountain the Down would be great right now. <laughs> So let's see how how long this light sword and ruler player can last. And usually when they go up against slower decks, they're fine. But an aggressive, fast deck like this that can whip out a strong beater, you might be in trouble. Well, Malefic tends to be more of a stun deck rather than the fast and very aggressive deck. Not, of course, that force and attack beater is, of course, very oh, strong. That Limited debris dragon right into the tour to mm, card trooper. I guess uh, Black Rose is coming. Yeah, so here comes Black Rose. Yep. Yu-Gi-Oh! Get luck sapped, bitch. <laughs> Black Rose. Of course. Yep. That clutch. That clutch, clutch, clutch. Was that Scarecrow? Why? Yeah, Scrap Fire on Scarecrow. Who the fuck is gonna attack you? <laughs> You're fucking 1,000 yeah. meter! <laughs> also, also, have you noticed that, uh, that Ali 0, uh, 75 only runs two cards in the deck? So, no, well, now it was three because it was, uh, it's, it's three Cyber. And oh, yeah, like... Wow, okay. Oh. Really? That was stupid. <laughs> This shouldn't even be part of the video, what the fuck? Uh, sure, <laughs> you're better. You're better. <laughs> you're... Lol. Fucking, everybody's bad, everybody's fucking bad, they're back. Yeah, rating means nothing on Twain twi net 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 Network. Yeah. Alright. Alright, we're back. So, we got... Black Star here with 1248 and the British Hero here with 1594. Uh, I believe uh, Black Star won game one. Oh, he's using Shadows and Battery Man. Okay, interesting. Yep. Battery Man are, battery men are definitely gaining popularity with the re release of uh, Battery Man 9 Volt. Hmm. Right, the this, card I'm actually using. These in my two cards should be well. limited to one. <laughs> Both of them. Well, one is the same thing that should be banned, actually. That would be fine. At least something. These two cards need to be hit. <laughs> yeah, indeed. <laughs> uh. But you can also hit the moral attack like Koshichi did. I feel like if you hit moral attack, you would kill the deck. And you can yeah, still you can still do things with it. Out. With three sanctums, you can still go like three sanctums, a morale attack, and like three and two uh, scythes. So the yes. engine's still there. It's just different. If you if you hit sanctum, the engine's done. Yeah. The deck can still function with only one sanctum. You still have three morale attacks. You'll still have still have your, you know, your uh, double cyclones and your and your ignitions, but. The deck, that, but they wouldn't make an engine of that, yeah. With Sector I one, no one would even try to do that engine anymore. The engine's done. Yeah. And that's really the only problem when it comes to artifacts, is that engine. Yeah, they are those splashable. Forbidden Chalice? <laughs> Forbidden Chalice is so good right now. Yeah, it's pretty good. Being able to activate during the damage stuff to stop those flip effects, so good. <laughs> What do you mean on? <laughs> I 
Like, what do you mean on? Flip target one card your opponent control. Oh, it's card? I did not know yes. it was card. Wow, that's really broke. I did not know it was card. Another uh, artifact sanctum. Yep. So, we're gonna see a Pleiades? Of course. Yeah, possibly. It's yeah. one of the best Xyz monsters in the game. Yep, the random Pleiades and bounces monster so it doesn't get flipped. Unless, of course, you have uh, another sanctum. Yeah. I'm afraid that Constella Pleiades will be hit eventually as well. You only need one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> No. If, you, if you just hit the shit that makes him, then you don't have to worry about it. Like I said, before this whole fucking artifact bullshit, Pleiades wasn't shit. The only one who used freaking Pleiades was Constellars. Well, that's Soul Charge play. Uh, exactly. Soul Charge, Soul Charge balance. Soul Charge, Soul Charge is fine. Shouldn't be hit. Very still, at, still at three. Oh, look, I mean, look, he has to be four thousand life points in. Look what he has on his field. Still, I know. So dumb. So dumb. Soul Charge is so good, so balanced. Stay at three forever, Soul Charge. I swear to God, if Soul Charge doesn't get banned, I'm gonna shoot someone. It might get limited instead. It just turns into a Luxat card. <laughs> just like it. that. You only need one! <laughs> when you're gonna pay 4,000 life points to do something like that, you only need one. I would rather have fucking Monster Reborn than that. And Monster Reborn can stay banned too! Sure. The Shimon Stay Born is a little bit more broken than... How is it broken? Why? Because you can attack? And you can uh, summon any monster from either player's graveyard. What's that? that shit! I mean, no you, 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 do you think people really pull shit out of their opponent's graveyard? The only time you yeah, take your opponent's graveyard is, times. is when they have a BLS. Majority of the time, you're in your graveyard because your deck has synergy with yourself. Yes. So... No. You're gonna have three. You're gonna have six Call of the Haunted. I don't think we need fucking Soul Charge anymore. Yeah. You know, we have three Call of the Haunted and three Phantom Springs. You're fine. You're fine. We don't need fucking Broke Soul Charge. I remember the days when Call of the Haunted was banned. Exactly. And now Call of the Haunted is three. And I don't even think Call of Call of is good, but I don't think it's broken enough to even warrant hitting. We could just keep it at three. I don't care. You can have three Call of Hunted, but give me that Vanities. No more. I mean, that will take, give me that too, but no more Sword Charge. Both of them should be hit. <laughs> it's the same bullshit. <laughs> the same shit over and over again. Yeah, this duel is probably over. Yep. Wow. Okay. That one. Wow. Not. That's it. <laughs> Wow, well, that, does it matter? <laughs> Wait, pretty yeah, sure it wins the match. Well. I thought, I thought Blackstar won the round one. Lol. God damn it! This video is <laughs> only eight minutes. Ah, uh, should we get another single duel in for this episode? Or should we just f say fuck it? I hate this series. I can't control how long the episodes are really gonna be. I'm not sure that your choice. We'll get one more. A single duel. Okay. We're back. Alright, so this is just a quick single one, probably quick. So we got Zane the goat here. I don't think Zane is a goat. <laughs> With uh, 1347 and the Exodia Master 2. So where's Exodia Master 1? And I wonder what deck he's playing. So far he has played one day. <laughs> and and, and uh, he's also played uh, Shride of Greed with Magician of Faith. So, so far, might be actually Exodia. For consecutive yeah, of it. Probably. Zane's using uh, Battery Man. That's the reason why I decided to go ahead and do this duel, because I want to see some more Battery Man since, you know, it's that underground deck. Should Dalton never. I, I swear no. to God, I saw a Battery Man. <laughs> I saw a Battery <laughs> Man. I saw... Battery right. Force 1, I guess, Battery Man 9. What? So let's see if you actually. I'm not, I'm not sure if Shadal's are fast enough to take Exodia. So this should be a quick one. Let's see how fast he can draw and just go Exodia. He's the Exodia Master. Exodia too skilled, too strong. You know, I don't even care if Shadals lose. I hate Shadals. Shadals are fucking evil swarms all over again. Well, they are even stronger than evil swarms. That's essentially what the deck is. It's only as good as its opponent. 
and the only major plays that it does is just go off with its its, its freaking mid rash. Yeah, super polarization in that deck is more insane than I thought as well. Wow, oh, that deck so well, yeah. there we go. GG! Exodia! <laughs> Obliterate! G <laughs> fucking G! <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this episode. This episode is so stupid. I hate Indeed. the end of commentary. It's so stupid. <laughs> fucking this is this is the bullshit that we see on on fucking the end of commentary. I'm done. And the stupid thing is, we gotta see you guys tomorrow with another episode. Episode. This is stupid. So fucking stupid. Lol. See you guys tomorrow.